I offered Yard a million pounds. To he had a world title shot. Fuck off, Umar, you are such a clown sometimes, right? Listen to me now. What world title shot has he got? Listen, this is where you, you, you're you all over the gaff, right? Umar, Frank Warren the other day done an interview and he went, yeah, I was going to, uh, you know, or Yard did, and he went, can't really take the Boatsy fight because I'm going to fight the winner of Better Be Ever against Joe Smith. A fight that's not even made yet. Right? And by the way, when that champion wins, there'll be a super champion. They probably won't even have a mandatory due. Right? So you're talking about, rather than take, this offer was in like January or, or February. You could have fought Boatsy for a million pounds in April or May, but you're waiting for the winner of a fight that hasn't even been scheduled yet. So if Better Be fights Joe Smith, right? what's going to happen? That fight's going to take place in July, August. The winner of that fight might be ready in November, December. So what are you doing with Yard? You're going to wait a year for a fight. And by the way, guess what's going to happen to the winner of Better Be Ever against Joe Smith? They're going to fight Canelo Alvarez for the undisputed 175 pound title that every sanctioning body is going to say yes to. So, but no one questions like, why doesn't someone say in that interview, well, what are you going to do, Anthony Yard? I'm going to wait, wait till when? Oh, till I get my shot. What, in December at the very earliest? Oh yeah, so what are you doing from when he last boxed? Can't remember when that was, February or whatever. I don't know. So, what are you doing? I asked Anthony Yard this, yeah. and he said you're very smart because when he got to the number one with a WO, you put in the offer, but you didn't put in the offer before. The number one in the WBO is irrelevant. It doesn't exist. He hasn't been called for a mandatory. He's not ready to fight for the WBO title. There's another fight that's going to happen. Then there's another fight that's going to happen after that. Does he believe he can beat Joshua Bratzi? If he does, take the million quid and then fight Joe Smith in December. This was in February, we're only in April. But you, no one asks these questions to say, all right, if you get the fight in, in December, which is the fastest you'll get it, right? Which you won't get it then anyway, because Canelo Alvarez will fight for the un, undisputed, probably. What are you going to do in the meantime? And how much are you going to get? But I like NCR boy, it's in a pop at him, but no one's saying to him, I just think he's being told stuff that he don't, like, I'm telling you the landscape of the division. We didn't make an offer because he's about to get a shot. He ain't about to get a shot. Would you have put the offer in if he wasn't in state of that number one? Of course, because it, he, the shot's not there. Him being number one is irrelevant right now because that fight ain't happening. First, there's a unification. Then there'll be an undisputed. And if there's not an undisputed, he's not going to fight for it till December. So what, what are you doing? Waiting a whole year for a fight that might not even happen rather than get a million quid in a fight you're supposed to be able to win. I don't even know how we've come on to Boatsy Yard. But, 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 that's, no, but that's just a good example of something where people actually don't question the situation when you know when Frank Warren said oh I didn't put Yard on the uh, the Wembley card because he's waiting for a world title shot what they haven't even announced the other fight that's going to happen before that in about three months time so what Yard can't fight till this whole year anyway